What are the major challenges that singles face today? And how can we remedy them? All right. One of the major challenges singles face today is most times pressure from parents. Pressure from parents. Yes. yes. Committee members, somebody should note these facts, please. Pressure from parents. What kind of pressure? Perhaps maybe after school, you're expected to, it's as if going to school, coming back, you're expected to come with a man to get married to. And, uh, a man? A man. Not yes. a Okay. <laughs> And along the line, maybe months into a year, year in two years, and the man is not forthcoming, or with the system of our country, maybe no good job, and uh, all this just okay. pile up together. Thank you very much. That is one of the challenges. Yes, can we hear you, bro? No. Challenges for... Yes, that singles face today. Singles. Like... Some they do look themselves like maybe a guy now. Let me start from the guy part. Some are very good, like I have money and I feel it's not the right time for me to settle down. I want to have all the old single ladies around. In the, ah, in the society? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. My God. Why in the female part? You see some girls, they see themselves like they are too beautiful. They, if you are not like the president's son or your father is the governor, they are not ready to settle for less. Is that true? Yeah. Ah, we come. You know them in this church. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much. Please note that. Yes. Okay. One of the greatest challenges facing singles today is the issue of sex. Yes. How do you mean? Sex sells everywhere, from the TV down to the radio, even social media, sex sells. So it's more like if you're not that slay queen, slay king, if you don't dress attractive, it's more like you are nothing. Is that true? Yeah. Ah. You are very current. You are very current. That's true. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the greatest challenges the singles are passing through these days is the spirit of impatience. They don't want to be patient. They don't want to wait for the right food time. Their friends are making it. They want to do it. Even when they've not heard from God, this is what I want you to do. They are just like, hurry, hurry, hurry. Let me get to that point. Let me do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is that the genesis of Yahoo Yahoo? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we, you people have uh, dragged the parents into this matter from the beginning? Parents, are we troubling these children too much? The yes I'm hearing uh, appears to be louder. How do we remedy this situation? How do we remedy this situation? Can we appeal to our fathers and mothers to step down on their pressures? Eh? You know, sometimes you hear a father saying, or a mother, Saying, uh, the one you eat my gari for has never reached. You know, statements like that can be very frustrating. You know, by this time, now, you are supposed to be taking care of me. I'm still the one taking care of you. It can be really killing. How do we remedy this situation? Now, we are appealing to parents step down on your prejudice. God will settle everybody. Amen? Amen? But on the issue of sexual challenges, right now, there is this slogan, there's this thinking, there's this uh, uh, thought that uh, you cannot get to the altar without first checking what is there. This is part of the challenge. Do you believe in that? Oh, did I ask you? No, not you. Did you do, do you believe in that? Hold on, hold on. Please talk. Do you believe in that? Is, is, is that how it should be? Ah, all the mics are down. No, no, no. Is that how it should be? It's no. not the standard. It shouldn't be a standard. It shouldn't be a standard. Now, who is the cause of this problem that we are faced with now? Is it the male? Is it the female? Both. The both. Both. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
What then should we do? How do we save this situation? Because you find today people are putting on veil, and the veil is not true. Eh? So how do we save this situation? How do we help ourselves and help the society? Yes. Right? Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I'll be personal here. I grew to notice that some persons, they normally go for white wedding gown, and definitely white signifies purity and all that. Correct. But my growing up, I took the decision in my heart, and I prayed to God, and told God that even if I'm to wear a col another color apart from the white as my wedding gown, this purity inside of me should speak forth. Personally, I don't really believe in that white standing for purity and all that. Because most times it's is more or less like others are wearing it, let me wear it. But I took this decision in my heart that God, if I'm coming down, walking down the high to your house, there should be this purity within reflecting house. Thank you. So you made a decision. Yes, sir. And that decision you are fighting hard to keep. Yes, sir. And I believe God will help you to keep it Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. But I also know that there are people in this house who believe right now that now they are under the talk so. Yes. No testing, no altar. Are they in this house? Yes. God forbid batting. Brother, what is your way out? Yes. Okay. I believe in early sex education because I grew up in a home where I was like 21 before my mom actually sat me down to talk about sex. And it was like... Thank you very much. Early sex education. These days now, we don't, uh, we don't even bother to teach our children. We don't tell them anything. As a matter of fact, when uh, a young girl of 14 comes to you and says, Daddy, Mommy, can I have a boyfriend? What will you do? A big blow on the head. <laughs> Instead of drawing that child and trying to give the child eye-opening uh, and proper education, what's your take on this? Like to me, I do find that like... <clears throat> If you see most of these cases of sex issue, it's from like your background. Some persons don't want like to do it, but some do go out like to do it because of what they want. Because of what they want. Yes. So, what is your counsel? So, to me, it's good like parents should like bring up your son or your daughter in a proper way from the beginning, so that when he or she is growing. He will know what to follow. Thank you very much. Bringing up the children in the proper way. People of God, there is dignity in purity. There is dignity in what? In purity. So we must fight hard to keep this purity. Very important. Yes, who has not spoken? Brother. Okay, four of you. Who has not spoken? Yes. There is this uh, training they give to us from the children's chapel. They said, train up a child in the way he should grow. When he's old, he will not depart from it. By the time you train up the child from the children's chapel, a lot of things that the parents could not be able to teach that child at home. The teachers in the church, they've done it already. So by the time the child starts growing up, he remember those, those lectures. It keeps to heat. I believe with those lectures, the life will go straight for his other child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. One parent, one father or mother, I want to comment on the issue of prejudice. Yes, I saw a hand down that way. Yes? Are you bringing your hand up and down? Okay. Any father, any mother? Okay, let's hear. Pressure, pressure from parents. Yes, briefly, please. That mic is up. Praise the Lord. I think four people are standing in the front, but as parents here, we don't need to deceive ourselves. There are parents here who we we'll say now that we don't go child to go and marry where you are not sure whether I can produce or not. And they encourage them. Let her be pregnant first before they go into marry. Is that not correct? Yeah. Some parents do that. So I think in teaching them, we should also teach parents here. So that the pressure of forcing children to go, if you want a child to have to be pregnant after, is that not the same thing as saying that they should go into premarital sex? Is that not it? Yes. So we need to also teach parents that what the word of God says is that they should not because God can give. He's the one that blesses 
I will not add any sorrow. The other one they go into, sometimes it brings sorrow. And parents should be told, just as the children are being educated, we should educate ourselves too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Parents, instead of the pressures, why not do the praying? Instead of the pressures, do what? Do the praying. And I'm sure the Lord will hear us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We, we don't have all the time, please. We don't have all the time. Now, we will release you to go. But don't forget, they mentioned the issue of uh, the, these singles are not patient enough. They are in a haste. There is this idea of wanting to make quick money. It's a challenge today. And some of our guests, they like people with flashy cars. Whether they are criminals or what have you, they, they are ready. It's a problem. Okay, it's a problem. So let's hear from a woman. Praise the Lord. Okay, and if I permit you, you don't say praise. Okay, stand up, stand up. Go ahead, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the, the, the challenges facing the singles can also be combated by if the singles are born again, if your heart is renewed and changed, even through the word of God, you will abstain from premarital sex, sex before marriage. It's a very sweet thing, but just try to keep yourself to that. And the Bible says in Hebrews 13, 4, marriage is unto honor, bed on the fire. Fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. And it is a very terrible thing to fall into the hands or the judgment of God. Thank so you. for you not to be judged, you must keep yourself. Keep yourself and be renewed through the word of God. Thank Praise you very much. Hallelujah. We must be born again. Beautiful talk. But I, I'm getting worried now as I hear people who are born again still claiming that they need to go into the experiment lab before anything. I'm getting worried. Even those who speak in tongues. Let the fear of God be resident in our hearts. And then we can be sure that we are intact. I will excuse you for a moment and bring you back later. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. Put your hands together for them. The, now, 